The new potentially more contagious Omicron variant of the coronavirus is now in Italy and Germany. The UK tightened rules on mask wearing and testing of international arrivals. This comes after the new variant was identified just a few days ago in South Africa. New cases also have been reported in Belgium, Israel and Hong Kong. President Joe Biden is putting travel restrictions in place for South Africa where the variant originated. And could the new variant already be in the United States? Our Shakira Speaks spoke to a doctor about his concerns with this potentially more contagious Omicron variant and how it's affecting one Charlatan who has ties in Southern Africa. I spoke to a man who's from South Africa and his family still lives there. His family is vaccinated, but he said there's some concern with the new variant creeping up in his country. Nobody's taking this in, in stride right now. There's more apprehension than anything else. Bernard Arthur is from South Africa. His entire family still lives there. They just don't know how to anticipate what this next change is because the assumption was we're vaccinated. We now think that everything's at least on the, on the upswing. We feel better about it. And then this came out of left field and was all of a sudden. What came out of left field was the new COVID-19 variant, Omicron. The World Health Organization says the variant popped up in South Africa. The early indications we have of this variant is that it may be more transmissible than the Delta variant and, it, and the vaccines uh, that we currently have may be less effective against it. On Friday, the Biden administration halted travel from South Africa and six other countries to slow the spread. But star med physician Dr. Aaron Piramazadian says the variant may already have entered the states. That's the problem with this. We obviously are very far behind the virus. The virus moves faster than we can track it. You know, for South Africa or any country to really recognize that there's a new variant out there, that means there has to be a lot of cases. And for there to be that many cases, that means it's already spreading. They've already found a few cases in the UK. Um, there's a few in Belgium. So that probably means there are some cases in the US. Arthur says, thankfully, the restriction doesn't affect his family in South Africa because they don't travel. But it does affect him, his wife and his daughter since they haven't seen them since the end of 2019. Uh, felt good to have seen them then. Didn't expect it to be this long before I saw them again. But other than that, understandable also. Biden said on Friday that the rise of the Omicron variant was another reason for vaccinated Americans to get the boosters and unvaccinated Americans to get the shot. All right, Shakira, thank you. And you probably want to know if your vaccine or booster protects you from the new variant. Pfizer says that if necessary, they expect to be able to ship a new vaccine tailored to the highly contagious variant in about 100 days. It should take about two weeks of data on Omicron before they decide whether the two jab vaccines should be reworked. Moderna said it's working to advance a booster candidate for its jab that is tailored to the new variant.